Good morning, everybody, or afternoon. This is Chris C., the slasher dude here. Um, hope everyone's having a great Thursday. Today, I watched a video yesterday from uh, great, uh, the original Fuzz. Um, check out his channel. I'm going to see if I can do the link here on my channel and stuff like that to his, uh, to his channel and uh, stuff like that. Great dude. Check out. He has great content and stuff like that. He's been doing this for around a year. Me, almost kind of close. I'm still a young buck here in this uh, Blue Tuber awesome uh, cinema community. Um, but anyway, I'm um, just going to piggyback off of that too. Do try to do the 31 days of Halloween challenge. Of course, I'd be the slasher dude. So I'm going to see if I can do that. My work schedule is, of course, different. It changes all the time and stuff like that. So I'm going to see how I'm going to get that done. Um, Going to talk about that a little later. Um, today, though, um, he did his uh, five best uh, horror franchises. I'm going to do mine. Um, mine's a little bit different order than his, but that's all good. Um, Y'all, too, um, in the comments, what's your uh, five best uh, horror franchises? can be in any order if you want. You can go, what's your number one, what's your number five? You can do honorable mentions, whatever like that, but just give me your thoughts on that. It's all good, and we'll just go ahead and uh, get started here real quick and um yeah we'll just get down to it here sorry i had my stacks a little bit funkied up here but uh that is all good here we go and i'll start off with the honorable mentions first and um we will start with of course the exorcist so the first one with the slip that wally world had and then, of course, The Exorcist 3. The second one I haven't seen. I know it's all over the place, though, and a lot of people do not like it, don't think of that. I love The Exorcist 3 a lot. It's based literally based off Weter, uh, William Peter Blatty's uh, uh, book uh, called um, Legion and stuff like that. The late, great George C. Scott. Of course, my boy Brad Dorff over here as the Gemini Killer. This is more of a slasher. This is more of a possession film. But this is more of a slasher. That's why I love this one so much. So basically, these two specifically are a great honorable mention, great franchise in general. Um, but, um, oh yeah, this one, one of the greatest horror films ever made. So... Yeah, the first honorable mention is the um, Exorcist films. The second one, I almost got in my top five, is Saw. Um, I love this franchise a lot. I include Spiral from the Book of Saw in this. Um, I really love all the movies for what they are. A lot of people call it torture porn, whatever like that. This is a steelbook, which you can get a steelbook collection that does not have Spiral from the Book of Saw in it. It does have Jigsaw, and I love Jigsaw. Um, so, um, great release. By, uh, by Walmart and stuff like that. You could probably go in-store and grab this bad guy. But um, yeah, that's it. That's a that's Saw. Saw franchise, absolutely. And then, yeah, like Fuzz kind of did, and just thinking about that too, almost got this in the collection. And uh, that's the Aliens franchise. So yeah, all of them from the original, made by the great uh, Ridley Scott, directed by the great Ridley Scott. You know, um, Aliens, Alien 3... This, this franchise goes all the way up to Prometheus and Covenant. I really like Covenant. I like Prometheus, too. So um, this franchise is kind of all over the place. Some of it's science fiction, but most of it's all horror, in my opinion. You know, you have these monsters, these mean-looking things that just come in your nightmares. So, um, yeah, that's the, uh, the Alien franchise there. All right, let's, uh, let's get into it. So, um, number five will be my number five horror franchise, favorite horror franchise. I don't think this is, well, it's starting to be talked about, of course, but, um, that's Clive Barker's Hellraiser, specifically these two films, um, Hellraiser and then, um, Hellbound Hellraiser 2. So, um, yeah, this one right here, I mean, it's, yeah, um, this terrified me. Um, my mother originally told me about this, love my mom to death, and she just couldn't finish it. She says, oh, Hellraiser, man, there's like a scene in this addict and all this stuff and blood and all this stuff, and she just couldn't do it. And um, I watched it. I loved it. Um, these are cool uh, Arrow releases. That box set is coming and stuff like that. Hellbound is basically the, is the same film. It just takes off after the original and stuff like that. I love Hellbound, too. It could have been so much more, though. Um, great special features, of course, on these discs, but um, 
And then, of course, you have Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth, which is a fun film. I haven't seen that in decades. Um, so that box set, I did pre-order that box set. It is coming, so it would be cool to revisit that. I haven't seen four in decades either. So, but anyway, yeah, that's the, um, that's the Hellraiser franchise. Still terrifying. So, And then, of course, we can't forget about everybody's killer favorite killer doll and that's Chucky and that's Child's Play. And we're talking about the original trilogy of films and I'd add Bride of Chucky into that so you have the first one here. Child's Play 2 which was the first one I ever watched. I love this film. It's more of a slasher to me. I love that. I always love the first one though but this one's just a fun time. I saw this probably way too young and stuff like that. Watched it with my parents. One of the coolest uh, posters of all time probably too or pictures of all time with that. Then of course Child's Play 3 which uh, yeah this is great um, great stuff good way to end it and stuff like that. He literally takes out everybody from the films basically and it's the last dude in here you know at the beginning of course like that but um, yeah that's Child's Play 3 that ended the uh, original OG trilogy for that. It's a great franchise and stuff like that. Always like it um, but yeah Killer Doll terrifying. That's Child's Play franchise. Okay. And then number three is, of course, since I'm the slasher dude, it's Halloween. So, specifically for the franchise, um, this one, of course, the OG Halloween. And Halloween 2, which I like more than the first because this is more of, the sla more of a slasher, it's the same thing. You can base it's the same film. You can basically watch uh, both of these, like one after the other, of course, like that. Clyde Barker was not known for doing sequels, but um, the slasher franchise was getting really big. Slashers were like all over the theaters in the early 80s and stuff like that. It grossed a lot of money back then. People liked them, people wanted to see them. And this is more of the slasher and stuff like that. But both these movies are classics. Um, they they boomed they boomed the slasher craze so yeah these are the ogs these are the godfathers i'll admit that um yeah but that's the halloween franchise so um, then of course the awesome uh, halloween 2 and yeah even halloween 3 season of the witch i've grown to love that film and stuff like that when i'm smaller i'm like there's no michael in and stuff like that but that's a great halloween film in general so i'd add that to the franchise too but yeah all in all halloween um of course the og great uh, horror franchise that's my number three Number two, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, this needs a 4K collection. Um, I, it just does. Um, it's Warner Brothers though, so we'll see. Of course, it's New Line. Uh, this in, for, was an introduction to New Line Pictures. This is the first stuff, of course, that they brought out. Uh, directed and created by the the late great Clyde um, Clyde Barker, late great Wes Wes Craven. Um, all of these, of course, the the first one, the second one I actually really like. Everyone loves Dream Warriors. Great soundtracks to all these films. Um, yeah, one of the greatest uh, horror franchises of all time. That is A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's this bare bones uh, collection here. And of course, it says that on there, not Warner Brothers. So. But yeah, it's uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Got so disturbing. So great stuff. Then, of course, a number one, you all know what it is. That's Friday the 13th. The greatest horror franchise of all time. This defined the 80s. It's the greatest. This one right here is the greatest slasher ever made, in my opinion. It's almost perfect, but nothing is. Uh, the original Paramount tapes, one through eight, are money. I love them all for what they is. What they are, great soundtracks to this. This defined the 80s in everything. Um, I've talked till I'm blue and read about, you know, uh, Friday the 13th. So, yeah, the original Paramount tapes, one through eight. Um, of course, Freddy vs. Jason I love. And, uh, yeah, that's a, it's Friday the 13th, a number one. And that's it. That's my top five uh, favorite horror franchises and some great honorable mentions there. And, yeah, I'm going to try to start, starting in October, the... 31 days if y'all can you can all do it with me see what's going on and stuff like that do that challenge as I call it and I'm always up for the challenge and if you could too uh, follow the original fu uh, fuzz here on YouTube I'll try to link his uh, link his um, you know channel in the info bar anyway you all have a great day and I will see you all in the next time